Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about uh, MASM 611, uh, which is going to be your uh, 8086 programming simulation software installation and with programming procedures for the things we are going to see in this video. So we will take a sample program for execution and we will try to execute that program and we can check how far it can able to simulate your 8086 programming methodology. To start with, so just uh, use the link in the description to come to this file uh, in terms of Google Drive. So we will be having a uh, zip file which is going to have RAR file which is going to have all the contents of 8086 software and there is a standard procedure for uh, using that MASM is also attached with this one. So you can able to check with description and you can able to open this uh, Google Drive folder and you can able to download it. So I have already downloaded it. So it is going to be 8086 software. So I can able to open it. So I can able to extract the file and I can able to see it. So I have already extracted here. So you can able to uh, open it. So you can able to find uh, two things in that uh, zip file. First one is going to be your MASM611. So you have to copy this file and you have to go to your C drive in that C drive, you have to paste it inside your C drive, MASM611 directly. So, MASM movement of folder from the zip file to the C drive. So, don't go inside your program files or some other places, just paste in the C drive itself. So, after that, we can able to again move to downloads and we can able to check with uh, Docsbox installation file. Just click on DOSBox installation file and you can able to proceed with installation of DOSBox. So this uh, it is standard procedure, you can able to directly install it and uh, keep it ready for your programming. So I have already installed uh, DOSBox and uh, it, I have kept it ready for my installation. So here uh, I can we can able to see the DOSBox which already got installed and uh, MASM is already placed inside your C drive. So in order to execute it, uh, we have to open this DOSBox file. So while you're opening this DOSBox, uh, in default, it will be uh, pointing towards EZ drive. So we have to make it to the MASM folder which we have placed inside your C drive. So in order to move it, so I have given the standard procedures, you can able to directly download it and you can able to see how we can able to uh, uh, move it to the C drive and we can able to use it. So in this aspect we can able to uh, give the command of mount C C hash colon and uh, especially in what is the location we are going to use. So we can able to check it is going to be masm611 right. So C hash slash masm611 which is going to be placed inside your uh, C drive. So the drive has been mounted, but still it has been not converted into uh, C drive. So I can able to give C colon and uh, I can get it inside my C drive. So I have got it inside my C drive, but actually all the programs which I am going to save in MASM 611, which is going to be in C drive and uh, it, is will be, it will be placed inside the folder of bin. So I have to locate that bin and after that only I have to save those files and I have to take those files. So I have to locate the drive bin. So CD space bin. So we can able to move inside C uh, inside your MASM and you, you can able to point it to your bin. So while you are uh, checking with your uh, so to maximize the screen you have to press alt enter. So you can able to uh, visualize like this. So in this, uh, if you want to uh, open a file or if you want to save a program uh, inside your uh, uh, bin folder, so there is no open command. Instead, we are having an edit command. So if you want to make it, you can able to edit uh, just sample, some uh, random names you can able to give. So I can able to make it as uh, sample one or something. So the file which you are going to save is going to be in your assembly language. So in order to make that, I have to give .asm extension. So I can able to make it so the file opens. So I can able to type my program here and I can able to make it ready for my uh, programming. 
so to make use of it uh, that uh, mouse pointers we can able to use it so we can able to move to file and we can able to uh, open one more file if you want to save the file we can able to save it or if you want to exit I can able to exit from the file so already I have made an uh, sample program so that it will be easy for us and we can able to save the time of editing or typing the video so I can able to uh, start with that program so uh, I have been uh, using this code for execution so uh, but before moving into it I can able to say some uh, architectural details of 8086 so that it will be easy for you to understand the program so while you are moving into architectural details of 8086 so this is your architecture we will not uh, drive much deep into your architecture so we will just try to understand we will be having a few general purpose registers so that I can able to use this general purpose registers for my operation. So in specific, if you are moving into the general purpose registers, it will be AX, DX, CX, DX. So if you want to uh, dive deep, so it is all the values of AX, BX, CX and DX is going to be your 16 bits. So if I want to use it as 16 bit, I can able to call it as AX, BX, CX and DX. If I want to make it as an 8-bit operation uh, for operation, so I can able to use it as AH, AL. So AH represents higher level of bits and AL represents the lower level of bits. So I can able to use like this and I can able to uh, make it as an 8-bit register also. So AH is going to be located here and AL is going to be located here. Combined, I will be forming my AX and bh is going to be your 8 bit register bl is going to be your 8 bit register combined i will be forming my bx in uh, general so we will be calling it as an ax is called as an accumulator bx is called as an base register cx is called as an count register and dx is called as an data register so while we are seeing in the theoretical aspects we can able to uh, get much deep into it but uh, i will try to formulate a sample program so i will try to push some datas inside the 16-bit register and uh, if I want to make it as an 8-bit how I can able to make it as an 8-bit so if I want to make it if I want to use it as an 8-bit register I have to make it as an uh, AH or AL if I want to move into as a 16-bit register I can able to move directly to AX so uh, while getting into programming So while seeing this code, you can able to see that uh, first two lines is going to be your code segment, assume CS is to code. So while you are seeing about your 8086 architecture, we are having four different segments, code segment, data segment, stack segment and extra segment. So I have to give a specific uh, way to my 8086. So when should be my code segment is starting and when is my data segment starting? So I am going to start it as code segment assume CS is equal to code which means I am trying to give an, uh, some temporary name to the code segment and after that uh, while closing this program I have to uh, close that code, code segment and I have to stop that one. So halt is to stop the execution of the program so which means like at this point your execution is going to be uh, your instruction is going to be completed. So this start and halt is going to uh, make this program run at uh, instruction is going to start at this point of time and halt is going to end that point of the time so we have started a code segment and we have to end that code segment there is no data segment which is being necessary for this program so while you are seeing this program so we can able to see that a first line of code is going to be move ax comma one two three four h so this h represents hexadecimal value so whatever you are going to save inside is going to be hexadecimal value and after that this AX is going to be 16 bit register. So in a 16 bit register I can able to uh, save the values of 16 bits. So if I am going to take a value of X, uh, AX so how it is getting saved so it is going to be 1 uh, first value is going to be 1. So the values which is going to be saved inside my uh, microprocessor is going to look like 0001 8421 combination. And after that 2 so 2 will be uh, 0 0 uh, 1 0 and after that it is 3 so 8421 combination 0 0 1 1 and after that it is 4 so 0 1 0 0 
so like this i am going to take it as six, uh, 16 bits and i am going to push it inside my microprocessor memory so the maximum value which i can able to store in terms of ax is the ff ff since it is an hexadecimal uh, orientation so uh, if it is going to be bl or bx or ch whatever it is going to take so we are trying to access that register as an 8 bit register so if i want to uh, check the values which is going to be saved inside it how it is going to look like inside my micro uh, processor is 0000 and it is going to be 5 so 0101 so it is going to take 8 bits so if i want to use it as a 16 bit i can able to give it as uh, bx but for this 8 bit is more than sufficient so if sometimes i can able to call it as an 8 bit sometimes i can able to call it as 16 bit both the things are possible so that i have taken this one and i have pushed it so one more time i have tried to push the value of ch so which is going to be in terms of cx higher bits i am trying to move the value of 20 h which is going to be the hexadecimal value of 20 and after that i am indicating like uh, halt statement is given and after the code segment ends and the entire complete program is going to end here so after typing this program you have to save the thing so in specific value you are going to save so give it as so sample is my file name so the extension which i have to give should be dot asm it has to mention like uh, it is an assembly level program so that while execution i will try to uh, say that this is an assembly level programming so the code which is going to be present inside this file will be your assembly level programming so i can able to press ok and after that i can able to press file and i can able to exit this program so in order to execute it we want to have in terms of a uh, few codes masm space sample dot asm so it's trying to uh, execute it and after that it is going to assemble it so after assembling so i have uh, while uh, after completion of your uh, uh, execution of the program so dot obj file will be created inside your c drive bin so in order to make it uh, very clear so i have to link that obj file so i have to press link so type it as link sample it will be in the same file name dot obj so we can able to see like uh, assembling has been done and after that we have linked it so after that we have to press four enters just press four enters it will come out of these lines and after that dot uh, exe file is going to be created so after creating the dot exe file so we will be having debug given instruction of debug the file name sample and after that dot exe extension so all my process is getting completed so if i want to see the register values or if i want to see the values of my program how it is getting saved so the code segment is going to be visible for me and i can able to uh, see my codes so in order to see my codes just type the uh, uh, command u and you can able to give enter so we can able to see that uh, the programs which i have typed already is being here so first few lines which i can able to see here is going to be move ax comma one two three four h uh, so h will not be displayed here while you're doing a uh, display so next one is going to be move bl comma zero five h and after that move ch comma 20 h and after that we are can able to identify the halt so which is the end of ending of my program so all other things which is getting uh, displayed here are garbage values it is not my program it is some other program which has already been uh, executed and it is going to be saved inside the uh, memory locations so in specific uh, we have to be very clear we can able to see that the halt command is going to have uh, the segment of storage of that halt command is going to be in 0764 east to 0007 so that is the location of your halt so after identifying the location of your halt command you can able to press g space 0007 which is going to be the location of your halt command in the program which is getting saved so from this i can able to see here uh, the register values has been displayed so i can able to uh, see that the value of ax register is uh, 1234 which i have given and after that the value of bx so you can able to see the value bl 
I have given it as 0, 05. So BL, uh, BX is going to be a 16 bit register. In that 0, 05 is going to be your uh, lower bits. Lower bits is 0, 05. Higher bits, I don't know what value will be inside because I have not changed the higher bit values. And while you are seeing in terms of CX, we can able to have CH value is going to be changed to 20. And CL value, I don't know what is there and it will be having some garbage values. So with this, uh, you can able to see uh, how to uh, take a program and type it inside your DOS box and keep it uh, saved inside your uh, Masm bin folder. And after Masm bin folder, you will be having some standard procedures to uh, uh, make that ASM file to create its OBJ file and from OBJ file we will be debugging it using .exe files all those things we will be proceeding with and after that we can able to see the program so our primary thing is like we have to identify the halt command inside my program and that halt command address has to be taken and it has to be given along with G so that I can able to see the register values here so all the register values I can able to see it so while you are studying about the architecture, we can able to uh, dig deep much into registers. But as of now, we can able to push the values of uh, program inside those registers using this program. So to uh, come out of this program, we can able to give Q. So it will come out of that program. So if you want to come to your original screen, you can able to press Alt Enter and you can able to come to your original screen and you can able to uh, check how far it is going to be there. So while you're opening this file, so previously it will be having a uh, dot sample. So I can able to say the dot sample file is going to be uh, located here. So I can able to uh, type it and I can able to check whether the dot sample is there. Yeah. So while seeing it, we can able to have an ASM file, which is being saved as a notepad file, like a notepad file. So it is a dot ASM extension, which you are saved inside your DOS box. And after that we have created an obj file and after that you have created an exe file so periodically we are going to create all the things and after that we are going to execute this program so this is the procedure for uh, installation of masm uh, software and a uh, procedure to execute a program to uh, write a program and to execute the program inside your masm so we can able to see few other programs in terms of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division in our next video. So thank you everyone for your patient listening. Thank you.